Alrighty, welcome back. Um, been a little bit since our last time. I decided we needed more manpower. 88 troops wasn't gonna cut it, so we went after bandits like crazy. Uh, and because we had such good troops, we were able to fight off huge amounts of them. I just charged right in there, uh, taking them out, and then we got renowned boosts for such large quantity of enemies. But anyways, these guys have been busy too. Uh, the Dorn, after our last episode. Ended up joining with the Dragon Lady and sieging and fighting everyone that is against them. And so they actually took Ashrod. There was tons of Dorn. I did not realize they had such a large force. They took that fairly easily. Um, I was just happened to be there. I invested in Tumbleton, Ashford, Old Town. I also invested in Sunspear and Planky Town. So we got some good money coming. And let's see what else has been going on. The Reach also lost either two or three places. I can't remember if they owned this one before, but they lost Craig Hall and Lannisport. The North has been losing ground. Um, they basically only have this one. They lost this. They've lost more towns from the Iron Islands, including Barrow Town, which is now on the Iron, Iron Islands. Um, and then the Free Folk are taking everything else, of course. And then the, the Stormlands just happened to took this one. I don't even know why they bothered going all the way up there. <laughs> I mean, that's a heck of a walk for one town. Um, and they just lost this place. So it's, wow, it's, we unleashed such <laughs> war across this land. And these guys are fighting more. And that is why I bring you to here. I ended up scouting out and I found something interesting. And it caused us to change our plans on fighting these guys for now. We will fight them eventually, but they're not going to be our first target. Uh, reason being, they're not at war with anyone. So it'd just be us versus them, and they have like one leader with almost 300 and three facels with 100 and 100 and a half each. So they have quite a few forces, and the reason I say large forces and that um, they have cell swords. Every one of these guys, none of them have their own troops. They just have cell swords. Um, so I can't recruit from the villages because they don't have cell swords at the villages. I'd have to recruit from towns. And if I try recruiting from towns, that's going to take forever because they're so far apart. And it's going to cost lots of money because they're cell swords. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a pain. So I found one thing, though. There's, mainly around here, are pirates. And they happen to have, I don't know why, maybe because they were on the sea and they captured a patrol or something, they got Westerland troops and Reach troops and Stormland sometimes. So I can get troops back that we want to use just by fighting a few pirates. So it's going to be very nice. But the other reason we're fighting these guys is because they're at war with each other. And, for example, this place was just under siege by these guys. And then they left. I don't know why. They could have took it. But they left. And there was three vassals in there. And they all ran over here. And these guys are now sieging this place. So while they're busy sieging this place... I'm going to see it's this place. <laughs> I am devious that way. Okay. Uh, relationship, negative 40. Wow. Um, we are going to prepare the ladders. And we are going to siege it. Okay, there we go. Four hours. Let's do this. Our first step. We're not going <laughs> to dilly-dally. Because they're already going to fight other people. So we don't have to worry about their troops so much. They don't have many. But we need to take something so we can get more troops. Um... Let's do this. Not what I was expecting to do. I really was thinking of um, whittling down forces, but there's no way I could bounce enough troops back and uh, in time to keep fighting off these guys from the Lorath. So we're going to have to do this for now. Oh, dang it. I forgot my crossbow. There's no chest here. No. I have a crossbow, and I meant to use it, but I keep forgetting to use it. So I got my archers here. They're going to take out those guys, because luckily we got a siege tower. And so it kind of split up their forces. It looks like a bunch of infantry right there. And then there's this large group of missile troops, which we're taking out pretty good here. And then I'll move them over and take out the rest. There's a couple in that tower. And then we'll maybe blast a few of them, punch a hole in that wall. And we're going to send our troops. Oh, look at this. Good combination of archers for the rapid fire. Keeps the crossbowers from shooting back. And then the crossbowers to finish them off. Pretty good work. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I just wish I would have had my own crossbow, but I can't believe I forgot it again. There's a bow here. Can I use it? No, it's a long bow. Okay. Look at that. They're doing good damage here, though. We're going to keep letting them do their thing. And then we're going to move over to that side. Garrett getting some nice kills in there. Okay, you guys actually got done with them. Ouch! I stumbled and falled. Okay. Archers move over here now. No sense shooting at those guys on the wall because they got shields. Just hit the soft targets. Yeah, I wish I could pick up a bow or something. That's why I like, if I can, I sometimes put points into archery just so I can in these instances pick up a bow. Because what am I really going to do with this giant stick? Nothing. Not much good for it right now. <laughs> okay, a little bit over here. There we go. Take out this half of the siege tower forces. Doing very good. And then we just gotta attack the walls. Let's go check to see if one of these guys maybe dropped a crossbow. I don't think they fell off the wall though. No, they didn't. Okay, so yeah, we're fighting cell swords. I was not expecting it, but every single faction over here is made out of cell swords, I believe. So it's very tricky in getting troops. So this is why we're sieging, is so that we can get our own faction going. And we can just recruit them from our buildings and people. Uh, it'll be much easier. Okay, rapid firing into that. Okay, you guys need to stand a little closer. I want you to stand right here and get a little bit closer to these guys take out a few of their shields and then we're gonna charge in and then hopefully you got enough bolts to help uh, on the walls a little bit oh, yeah, that's a nice bunch of troops without shields oop that guy can't see him there okay let's do this guys charge in okay I'm gonna let them hope oh, our archers are running out of bolts well, at least the archers are out. Crossbows are still going. That's fine. They can help. This is why I like having a little mix. Because even though these guys are out of arrows, they're still well equipped. And they can protect archers if I happen to forget about them. And I'm going to have you guys um, follow me. And you're going to stop firing for a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still got bolts, but I don't want you shooting right now. And there we go! Got our iron board and retainers going up there, kicking some butt. Look at that. <laughs> nice. New enemies arriving. Good. We're going to get them on the walls. It's good timing there. We didn't have to fight them again on that spot we punched a hole in. Guys over here getting shot, though. So we're going to have to get up there and start taking out their archers real quick. But so far, so good. We didn't take a lot of losses from their archers. Mainly because these guys don't have very good armor, I find. Um... Because they're regular cell swords, they're not elites. They're just regular cell swords, so they're like the very bottom of the barrel ones. Okay, now you guys can start um, shooting if you have any bolts left. Take out these guys on the edges. Keep on going, boys. I think we're gonna take the right side. Oh, there's a couple up there we gotta clear out. Oh, they hurt. They read my mind. They're going that way. Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna take up the wall. Oh, we gotta take those guys out. There's a giant mosh of them right up there. Okay. Archers, I want you to hold this position right here. Yeah, there's not many troops I don't think left. Just check their numbers real quick. Yeah, they lost 100. They're almost gone. They don't have any reinforcements. Oh, you got that cleared. Good. Good work, man. Good work. Okay. So, yeah, I got a crossbow because I kind of like having rage capabilities and sieges. I mean, I don't really need a pike for anything um, when fighting in a siege. So, we're going to swap it out, especially if we have to defend this place. I might as well be able to do some damage if I can't hit them. There's a few archers over here still take them out okay come here you crossbow 
Pointy hats. Yeah, you can get down there. I will deal with you later. Go get this guy. In the butt. Oh. Okay. Oh, I fell down the hole. Oh, man. Oh, no. There we go. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Here we go. Okay. I don't feel like picking up a crossbow right now because they're going to shoot me if I try. Come here. Come here, you. Haha. -ha. Okay. Oop. Shield bash. Okay. Oh, a couple more up here. Come here. Oh, right in the face. Okay, this area is cleared. I don't want your shield. I don't want your sword. I want a crossbow. But I don't think I'm going to be needing it much here. Archers, I don't know if they're shooting. They might be out of bolts and stuff now. I don't know where all the enemies are. I hear them fighting. Must be all over there. Look at this guy. Okay. Let's get down here. Is that a crossbow? No. Shield and sword. What are you guys doing over here? Oh. I think I know what's going on. Where's the door? Um, I don't want to jump that far. That's going to hurt. Let's see. Is there stairs over here? I think they're trying to fight some guys that aren't really there. Oh. Never mind. We're going to go for it. Okay. Um, anything to break my fall over here? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this might hurt a little bit. Um, use the wall. Oh, five damage. Worth it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're trying to fight these guys. And they're not very good at uh, pathfinding, let's say. Could have put my archers down here, but that would be a heck of a walk if they can even get down there. And it's just one guy. Meet Coldbringer. Ah! Oop. Really? There we go. Third time's the charm. I stumbled and falled. Oh, glorious. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, there we go. We won. We lost few of our companions. I forgot to put Brendan in the back, but it doesn't look like he got beat. That's very good. Uh, we lost 9 killed, 17 wounded. That is not bad. Sail swords, all killed. Look at this. 146, 8 wounded. Wow. I got 10 kills. Nice. And then we got some prisoners we can rescue. Uh, we can take 9. So let's see if there's any good ones. This guy looks kind of cool. I don't know. Is that a faction? I haven't seen that one. No, he doesn't upgrade anything. Let's get the pirate captain and slave leader. Slave, ooh, slave leader with a horse. And then we'll get the pirates. I don't want cell swords just because we're fighting them and it might cause morale. I don't know. There we go. Pirate archer's not worth it. Cell sword skirmisher, no. Slaver? Camel rider. Nah, I don't really. I don't want mounted troops like that. And then we got. So yes, these are cell swords. Like I said, they're not veterans or elites. They're just the basic ones. So you got some chain. Um, these guys just got leather armor. And then the crossbows, cloth or something, I don't know. And then that, tunics. <laughs> yeah. So not very well armored. So that's why we kind of whooped them so good. But we did have good advantage with troops. And look at us, a heavy war hammer. I might give that to somebody. That's pretty cool looking. It's one-handed too. We got... Chipped arming swords, we don't need those. I might take the helmet. And those. And the shields. And eh, that one's kind of cool looking, but we don't need it. There we go. Boom. And there we go. We have completed. I advanced to level 28. Very nice. Uh, we have taken the Fist of the Daughters. Who do you wish to give it to? I want to have Fist of the, daughter, fist of the Daughters for myself. As you wish, Cole of the player faction has taken ownership of the Fist of Daughters. Taken ownership of Lavender? Sure. Oh, what a nice name. Um, 
he now have full control of the castle. He can plunder spoils of war worth 6,100 coins. May station troops here defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Also, you should select now whether you will hold the castle yourself or give it to the faithful vassal. Plunder and keep it to the spoils yourself, or plunder and share the spoils equally between your vassals and yourself. Well, I don't have any vassals. And we could use the coin. I don't know. Is there any negative effects for plundering, or do I want to continue? I kind of need some money. Oh, I lost honor. Yeah, we don't want to... Whoa, that could have been because I didn't share it with anyone. I don't have any vassals, so... Maybe they meant I should have shared it with my companions? Um, possess now... What is this? Point somebody. Oh. Uh, I don't want to give up any companions right now. So we are going to appoint a prominent citizen of the area. Found at your court and uh da -da -da. avoid accumulation of unresolved issues which may sap your authority. Okay, what will be the name of your sovereignty? Oh my goodness. I haven't even thought of a name. We still haven't found a name for ourselves. Let's do a quick little break. I thought of a good one. Look at that. The Widowmakers. We do like to run down our enemies and not have any survivors most of the time. <laughs> so we'll be dark. The Widowmakers. Um, let's approach the castle. Nice. So let's see. Go to Lord's Hall. We should have some people here. Look at this. We've got sergeants already on duty. we got some people here. Bellaria of Novus. Of course, my lady. We'll let them go. Who's this? Another one? There we go. Happy points with the ladies. Never hurts. And minister. Um, at your service. At this point, there is no particularly urgent matters. I point out, though, that my lord is not... I'm not very skilled in the ways of politics and that I am anxious to return to private life. If you wish to issue any but the most basic directives, I suggest pointing a trusted companion in my steed. Is there anything you wish to... Done. Oh, okay. So maybe we should appoint somebody else. Hmm. I want to hire a new staff member. What's this? Do you like? I want to appoint a castle team to point uh to handle financial affairs. Oh, that'd be cool. So why is that? The man's just very capable nobleman and friend of my family. His name is Haram. He demands fifteen coins each week, though he pointly will cost us. 20 coins. That's not so bad. 15 coins. So be it. Okay, and then what's the other one? That's a wise idea. May I suggest a very capable nobleman friend of mine? He is Erlos Linen. He demands 15 coins. Wow, that's pretty cheap. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to. Hmm, I didn't think about this. We do have one guy. He's not very helpful at all. I could point him. Uh, this is our siege guy. This is our master archer and whatnot. This guy. He's okay, but he's not the best. Like, I finally just got him up to 12 strength. So, and I, I could always get him back later, but I think I'm going to get rid of him. He's not the most effective. He doesn't have any party skills, really. Yeah, I think we're going to give him the job. So, who was that? Um, Halbert Crow's Head. Okay. Let's go F, and then... There's Mistral Crow's Head. Where is his name? There it is, Crow's Head. There goes, Newsmaster has been honored to serve you. Okay, we're going to leave and we're going to go in there. So we'll see what kind of options we get now. I didn't think about that. I didn't think it made any difference. Oh, we got a chest. Oh my goodness, look at this. We got armor. We got a prison. Look at that. It's only two less leg armor, but look at that. 54 body armor. Oh, we're going to take that and give that to somebody. Nice. I like free stuff. Okay, now let's talk to this guy. Yeah, I've never really got this far. So let's see. Wow, there is a lot of more stuff we can do. Um, dispatch an emissary. Royal vassal. Place myself as marshal. Um, I want to hire a new staff member. We're going to appoint this guy. It's pretty cheap. And then we'll see what he does. Just exchange a prisoner. Persuade the Lord of joining our seventy. I wish to spy out another sovereign. That's cool. Oh man. Um let's see. There's not much else I can do here. Okay. That is very cool. Oh well, here's oh my goodness, he's already here. 
about the financial affairs. Let's inspect the treasury. Um, smoke a fee, short exchange cash rate. Oh my goodness, there's so many options here. Pool in a household. Oh, so we can put items on him. That's sweet. Okay. Well, we're going to hold on to everything. I don't really need the extra space. We're going to give that to friends. And then I can sell it later on. And they can hold on to this. Um, the tools I'm going to hold on to in case we need to change faction places later. I got plenty of food. So I guess we're going to leave. Uh, documents. We, can go, we can't do anything. Let's manage the garrison real quick. Let's get rid of this guy finally. Oh my goodness. He's still. No one wants him. Poor soul. Just wandering the world. Being dragged around. <laughs> For how long? <laughs> like ever. Unlucky this. We got 254 troop limit. Nice. Okay. Should be a way to increase our troops actually right here. Recruit some troops. Recruit some troops. What's this? There we go. Widow makers for this castle recruiting will cost 800 dineros. Take one day. There we go. Let's do it a few times. That looks pretty good. So we're going to spend five. Yeah, five times. That should be good. See what kind of troops we get. Prisoner tower. We don't need any of that. And let us leave. More talking. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's newly enthroned ruler of a sovereign realm. Many men and women have come seeking your favor. Goldsmiths, masters, armors, and all sorts of craftsmen flock to your court. Quest for work and lucrative contracts. The goldsmith armors in particular persist in the praise of your rule and how you should have a crown suitable for your noble head. Oh, I like crowns. Request an expensive crowned helmet, 7,000. Request a reasonably priced crown, 4,000. Request a cheap crown, 2,500. Well, you know what? We're gonna celebrate. We finally achieved something. Let's do this. Seven thousand. Um, leave your court to return to the work. You notice one man lording in a corner where everyone has left. He introduced himself as Kahor, a renowned armory. He offers to forge you a magnificent tourney helmet suitable for a champion such as yourself. I already got a helmet though. What do I need two for? Request a tourney helmet adorned with an eagle. Wow, seven thousand? Goat? <laughs> a sphinx. Feathers. I don't know if I really want one. Eagle, goat, sphinx, and feathers. We're gonna say no. I already got a crown. I can't wear two. Um, to spend your rule, you must decide to get the blessing of the gods. The coronation ceremony will be grand affair. Announce to the world your beloveds. Oh my goodness, we have to choose. Okay, let's pause our timer. There's so much more stuff than I thought was gonna happen. Um, holy oils. Fi Ooh, fiery ritual. That sounds cool. Drown priest, the crown on your head. Order a crown on your head. I like the fire ritual one. That sounds cool. There we go. We gained two right to rule. And we got a thousand coins. Oh, we lost a thousand. Domestic policies. What's this? Oh my goodness. Okay. Serfdoms. Oh my goodness. Du -du -du. Well, you know what? We're going to do this later. Actually, let me just look over it real quick. Uh, expert realizing reports. Oh, this one's troop quality. High troop quality increases the strength of troops, but decreases army size. Well, I'd rather have high quality troops than loose troops. Good quality. Great quality. Let's do great and see what happens. And there we go. I will pick a flag, and I will see you guys next time when we uh, try to get more manpower, I guess. <laughs> Bye.